All right, so we have one more coach hired. The Seattle Seahawks have made their move. And we all thought they were waiting for somebody that was competing and coaching on championship weekend with their job staying open. And sure enough, it's Mike McDonald, their new head coach, the man who's replacing Pete Carroll, who was uh, the oldest coach in the NFL, and they're replacing him with now the youngest coach in the NFL at age 36, the defensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens, is now the HC in Seattle, joining the mix up there. So here's my initial thoughts. Listen, I'm biased. I saw what Mike McDonald was able to do as defensive coordinator at Michigan before John Harbaugh took him back from his brother Jim and said, I need him to coordinate my defense here. And we all saw what he's been able to do since he's been the defensive coordinator the last two seasons in Baltimore. And uh, he joined the Ravens organization as an intern in 2014. Look at him now. Ten years later, gone from intern to head coach of the Seattle Seahawks in ten years. That's a come up. Uh, And uh, he's a Georgia guy. He's a Georgia guy. That was his school. And um, he was a high school coach and then a graduate assistant at Georgia in 2010 before he's a quality control assistant before he became an intern for John Harbaugh. That's his ascent to this role. And clearly Seattle is looking at what is needed in this division with the Niners and the Rams doing what they're doing on the offensive side of the football. And here, let's go get a a coordinator that's going to defend it. And then we'll figure out what to do on the offensive side of the football. Uh, to support it. And so I don't know how much appreciably different, like that's that was Pete's, Pete's mantra was, let's play defense, let's hold on to the ball, yep. let's do ball control, let's run it, let's not do anything crazy. Let, and everybody always accused him of not letting Russ cook, and I'm not saying that that's... Uh, it, it, there's clearly a philosophy of how they want to build a team and how they want to run a team up there in, in, uh, in Seattle, and it looks like they're going to continue with that. Normally, you switch it up, right? You right. go with somebody completely different than the coach that you you had in terms of philosophy, but they're they're going defense again up there. Interesting. And it's a six-year deal, according to Tom Pelissar, which is one more than what everybody seems to have been getting in this, in this um, cycle of coaching right now. And the other thing is, hey, TJ, looks like you're keeping Dan Quinn. Looks like Dan Quinn will be the defensive coordinator in Dallas still. It was like my initial thought right off the bat. It's because when when they bounced Pete the Wednesday after the season, and I, we were all thinking, that's Dan Quinn's gig. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what? It's not. Dan Quinn's gig. It's not. Dan Quinn's gig is going to be staying put in Dallas, which is great news for the Dallas Cowboys, and we'll discuss their upcoming season shortly because on the show in hour number three because we heard from Jerry Jones yesterday. So these are my – thoughts on the process is guy Mike McDonald is a terrific coach he clearly knows what he's selling and the players clearly buy it collegiately professionally and now he's going up to Seattle and trying to put the bang thing on two very tough defenses to control in that division and and Kyler Murray as well that's the task at hand. It's going to be even tougher when Kyle's throwing the Marvin. Even so. Even so. Unless that, he's in New England. That leaves the command. <laughs> that's right. no, he, Don't he's you not, need a quarterback? That's not happening. Again, Gerard Mayo already came out and said. No, he didn't. We are going, yes, he did. No, he didn't. He came out and said. We're, we're taking a quarterback? Did I miss that? He said, we are taking the best player at the most important position, and you can figure out what that means. Wide receiver. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got it. Marvin. So. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 